Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number one on Odata short videos. So I recently started this kind of playlist, short videos in each stream, ABAB, CTS and uh, Odata, even in, in other areas as well. And whenever I just come across any uh, short information to be shared, uh, it could be useful for you. So then I thought, okay, let's create a short videos, probably 10 minutes max or 12 to 15 minutes max not more than that and it's a very simple concept and uh, this one is the first video in our data servers in this video i'm going to explain how to maintain or transport a system allies details to another server so whenever you just create a gateway client you have to give what is the system allies name in by default it actually creates the uh, service id and uh, host name user role so host name and user role are optional and these are the details is automatically created in your gateway server system. Here the question is how to move that uh, to a testing client or my quality and production system. So that is the uh, content of this particular video. Let's get into the slides. So um, here I'm going to transfer first three options i'm looking for an option to transfer the details of service document identifier user role and host name not the system allies because this is coming under the configuration part and that needs to be done using your sap img transaction and i have explained how to create a system allies uh, in a gateway server system uh, in my odata service video i think it's video number 12 I mentioned very clearly the configuration of gateway servers in that I explain how to create a system allies. Once you create automatically, it will go and save in the transport request, configuration transport request. So that is a way you can move the uh, SAP system allies name. It's nothing but it could be your um, connection between um, gateway system to your backend system so that is the details which available in sap system allies okay so that is taken care by custom transport request so in this video we are going to see only about the service document identifier user role and host name how we can move this forward to a testing client or a quality or production system okay next one is uh, there are two ways to do this one is manually you can create the system lies details like especially the source id the first three things i'm talking about mm, source id username and host name if your target system is open for edit some way or some systems are open for edit maybe a testing client or quality most probably not the production system okay if that is the case you can ask the help from your basic security person to uh, create the same in the target system if not transport so this is the best option always to move anything between the systems through transport request even if it does if you want to move the things to a testing client with the same server keep it in a transport use scc1 transaction to just move uh, the data between your uh, clients with the same server and the data, whatever the information I have explained in the previous slide, all the informations are saved in a table call in a gateway system is called uh, this one, uh, IF, IWF NDC and it's called MGDAM. So this is a table where you are able to find your source identifier, host name and user details. Okay. So let's get into the system and I will show you how to do it in the transport request from this table. Okay. This is my yes. This is my um, HANA system. So I see ninety three. Right. Go to your SAP um, active and maintenance service transaction. Just select something. Okay. Let me go with the mine. ZGI star. Up. Oh, got deleted. Let's say issue with um, rental system. Okay, anything else? Okay, let's take something. D star. Okay. So this has some system details over here. This is actually a system allies. You had to do it in a different transaction. And uh, I need to know what is the service uh, ID for this. So go to customization uh, button. 
So here you are able to find your service doc identifier name is mostly your service name and followed by some number. It start with 0001 and user role host names are currently not available. It's not maintained, I can say. And the system analyzes a local. So this is a different part. So don't worry about it. So our intention is this needs to be moved to my target system. OK, so one way open a target system. If it is open, edit it and do it. If not, go to a table you see 16 and this is a table i think i close the other transaction one minute Let's see 93 execute filter z star okay this one and i need the service identifier okay this one Let Copy this, go to the table and paste it, execute it. So this is available. So now I need to do the, uh, I need to move this information. Only identifier is available. These two are empty and to a transport request. And unfortunately you are not able to do it because these are restricted table. You are not able to do it. So let me create a transport request. Workbench transport request is good enough to move this. This is for the service identifier details. Okay, just get into this. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, let me go to is a change mode. Yeah, it's in a change mode. So let me add the details what I have, uh, what actually I need. Um, one minute, let me go back. change mode so here what i need i need uh, the information as object and what kind of object it's a table content so tabu is the object shortcut program id is tabu let's see sorry object id is tabu so tabu is nothing but table contents okay and what is the object name table name my table name is this is the sorry this is my table name and paste it that's it just enter okay and you will get an information over here as a button object with keys okay and uh, just select it then you will get this information so here you have to add the data just double click the first row it will open a pop-up and here enter the client and service id yeah this is the one the service id and then user role is star and click continue. Then it will add it your transport and click save. Let's go back. Go back. So here you have an uh, option of table contents. It's already available. So this is a way then once you transport your um, testing client through SSC one with same trans same server or the different server like quality. So you know the process how to transfer the transport transport request between two different system or two different clients okay so then automatically it will reflect in your target system so this is a way to move the service identifier from one client to another client or one system to another system okay so hope this might be useful just play around if you have any doubt please let me know thank you so much for your time see you in the next video